Yo, what's up, fellow YouTubians? This is Mr. Legacy back at you once again with another TU14 informational video. And the last video I did was, of course, the Hopper video, and that was more of a speculation video than an actual confirmation video. And as I said in that video, I would do a kind of an explanation video on beacons and the possibility of beacons coming in TU14. So I have here a little setup, and I'm going to give you a rundown on what beacons do, what beacons are for. And what are the essential parts kind of for making a beacon or whatever so I'm gonna get into it um, first of all I have my wall over here uh, which states the different abilities the different kind of potion abilities that a um, beacon will grant you once it's activated so you have your five primary ones and then you have your one secondary one which you can only get by building a four tier uh, beacon station or pyramid so our first one is speed and as uh, as it suggests it's uh, increased movement and it acts the very same as a potion of swiftness uh, the next one we have is haste which gives you increased mining abilities so you can mine uh, faster chop down trees faster etc etc the next one we have is oops next one we have is resistance which gives you increased armor power meaning your armor is more effective against skeletons or any types of uh, different mobs and um, that you might come up against now the next one uh, number four is a jump boost which gives you increased jumping distance uh, this only lasts for maybe 20 seconds or so maybe less um, you have to be within a certain area of the actual uh, beacon itself as you can see here um, I have resistance and we leave it go down to zero and you will see as you can see it restarts back at five it goes back to eight so I'm within this certain area that um, I should be to get the resistance uh, bonus and the last one is strength which gives you increased melee damage which means um, when you are punching a mob without a sword or something it gives you increased damage on that mob so these are the five primary functions um, which uh, a beacon uh, will give you the, f the five primary kind of potions or abilities they will give you and um, the secondary ability they will give you is a uh, regeneration cycle and as I said that can only be achieved by getting the fourth tier beacon uh, pyramid it's very very costly to kind of the beacon itself is not that hard to make but it's actually making the pyramid platforms for it that is very very costly on resources because each uh, each block of iron or block of gold or whatever there they are nine ignits in that block so it's very very expensive to do it iron of course would be the easiest way of doing it because iron is such an abundance in the overworld so um, even at that it is still very uh, costly in resources to make it so I'm gonna come over here and we have our level one um, which is just a uh, tree by tree and level one has a radius of 20 blocks and it gives us either speed or haste uh, as you can see um, we have either speed or haste and it shows you here the different tiers and what they will give you so tier one is speed and haste uh, tier two then will be resistance and jump boost and tier 3 then will be strength and then you have your secondary one which is regeneration now to activate this you will put a uh, any four of these ignits in so I'm gonna put in a uh, emerald ignit and we give it a sec we select which one we want so we want haste and we press done and it starts giving off haste like so so that's how you actually activate the beacon it's a very simple activating process now we're gonna go on to our tier 2 beacon so our level 2 beacon gives us speed haste resistance or a jump it has a radius of 30 blocks and like the level 1 uh, one that I just showed you it's the very same process of activating it and I'm gonna go quickly through the next two now so we have our level 3 which offers us speed haste resistance jump or strength and it has a radius of 40 blocks and our final one is a level four or a four tier beacon which gives us speed haste resistance jump or strength and a secondary power which is included which is healing and this has a radius of 50 blocks so the essential parts that you're really going to need for building a beacon 
is the nether star which is achieved by killing off the wither um, you have to uh, go to the nether to kill the well you don't I, I was actually corrected on this on my video you do not have to go to the nether to kill the wither but it is easiest to kill the wither in the nether and um, what you need to make the nether the the wither uh, again nether and wither very confused what do you need to make the wither so you have to um, a new mob has been added in which is the wither skeletons so you would have to kill three wither skeletons and they should drop off um, a wither uh, skull and once you have that you will go and get some soul sand and you will stack up the soul sand like you would for creating iron golem and on top you will place your three uh, wither skeleton skulls and then it should create the wither uh, the wither is not that hard to actually kill compared to the ender dragon mainly because the wither doesn't actually fly that much and you could spawn the wither in a very confined space so it would suffocate die and then give you off that nether star so as i said the nether star is really the primary uh, bit that you would need for the beacon as the most essential bit and it would be the hardest bit to probably get out of anything so i hope you guys enjoyed um, i keep going into my inventory uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick uh, kind of discussion tutorial on beacons. The main reason I did this video, and as I said, this is only a possibility. This is only speculation. I am not actually 100% sure if this will come in. But what is making me think that beacons will come into U14 and Minecraft for next generation console is the fact that we will be getting the Wither, and the Wither will be giving off a Nether Star, and a Nether, st nether Star is its only function is to make beacons so that is why i think that um beacons could be coming in the tu14 update so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment favorite and subscribe if you like this video specifically make sure to like and comment every like promotes my video and gets it out there every comment lets me interact with you all in the comment section also a lot of people have been wondering how to get in contact with me um i do a lot of announcements and talking to fans on twitter so make sure to follow me on either twitter or instagram which is at josh the youtuber it should be down in my description and somewhere in this video uh please 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 go follow me there it's the easiest way to talk to me and i always respond to all my tweets so if you want to talk to me or if you want me to see your world or whatever make sure to go there and you know tweet me talk to me whatever uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will have a new redstone video out soon and I will have a new channel update soon because I will be changing my channel schedule um, to probably five days a week of uploading uh, not the full seven like I've been doing for the last past few weeks. So till next time, this has been Mr. Legacy and I will see you all on the dark side.